All right, so in this one, we are gonna add in a login form or a form in general to this nav bar. Fairly straightforward, but the as far as how this login form is gonna work is probably the part that's not. Uh, so we'll do the part that is fairly straightforward first. And we're gonna first off put a form in here. So it's gonna be form class, and we'll put the class in just a moment, and then we'll close it off. And then just like any other form in Django, we wanna add in our me method. So in this case, it's gonna be post. I'll say why in just a second. Action, we will have to come back to that, so I'm not gonna be done with that just quite yet, but I'll do the CSRF token as well. So these are things that you wanna get used to actually putting in when you're using a form. So the form class itself is a navbar form. So navbar-form and navbar, we're gonna pull it right. Uh, and I'm gonna put it actually right where it is right now for now, so we can see what happens after. Uh, and then inside here, we wanna have two div class form groups, um, one for the username and one for the password. So let's go ahead and make these form groups first. So div class form dash group. And I'm gonna copy this, paste it here. And then lastly, we will put a button, we'll just call it button and add it a type of submit and then the class will be btn and btn default. And the name will be login. Close off the button. All right, so now these form classes, um, we notice we're not rendering a form. We're doing a manual form here. So input type equals to text class equals to form dash control. Um, this is what Django crispy forms do do already. That's what it does for us. And then the name is username. And then the placeholder will also be username, placeholder, username. And we can close that off. We can copy this almost identically, put it into the other form group, and we'll change this to password. And then the name is also password. And the username is password. Cool. So this should give us our form. So let's actually go ahead and reload it in here. And now we do see our form. So since we have a form now, we probably don't need to have a login here anymore. So we can get rid of that. So let's go ahead and do that, get rid of that. And better yet, we probably want to have register on the other side of login. Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's completely up to you. So if you do want it on the other side, go ahead and cut this form and put it at the end of the drop um, the nav bar, and now it's on the other side. One more thing that we wanna do before we even fix this form is to make sure that it only shows up when they're not authenticated. So let's go ahead and add that, and end if. And now we'll just say if not request.user is authenticated, so the opposite. So once they're authenticated, they'll see this, um, or once they're not authenticated, they'll see that, and then they'll be able to log in. All right, and notice that it already did password completion for me on this site, because I saved that password and it's still on there. All right, cool. So now we need to talk about the action. Where is the action supposed to go? So um, let's click on register and actually jump into the login page. This is the form that we're actually copying, right? So up here is the same thing as this. So let's go ahead and inspect this element. Let's actually take a look at this form itself and see where it's going. So the form method, the action is actually going to this page itself uh, that's what that dot signifies. And then notice the we want to see the label for. Um, actually, we want to get the name of the username field, which in this case is username. That's good. That's a good sign. Because um, if it's something different, then we would want to make sure that our field, our name field, is also something different. Uh, and then that's going to be the same with password. So let's look into the password. And we'll look in here. There it is. And password name is also the same. Cool. So that's a good sign. So now that we've got these two as the same, the action is the part that we need to worry about. And that is going to just go to using that URL field. And we use double quotes on the inside because we have single quotes on the outside. And it's going to be auth underscore login. And that's where it's going to go. So if I actually go back here, let's go back home and do ABC, one, two, three, hit login. It actually logged me in. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. So if I log out, it takes me to this logout page. Um, and then if I tried something different, so ABC and then some other password, it brings me to the other login, the actual login page, 
and says, please correct username and password. And this is actually showing up um, as such, right? So that's something else that's really cool about using forms, right? You can actually send them to a specific area. And this action is typically gonna be on your page. It's not necessarily gonna be on another site. You would want this action most likely to be within your own because there's something that Django has security that would prevent somebody else from trying to log in on your page um, and do stuff like that. So there is some security involved with how this form is being used anyway. So that's a good thing to know. Um, all right, so that is getting this request working, but there is something that, I, that kind of bugs me. And that is seeing this login form twice. You don't want to see it twice if you don't have to see it twice. So let's actually get rid of it. And it's really simple. We're going to add a additional statement to this if clause. And we'll say and not accounts slash login in request get full path. So request that get full path, that will actually get the path that it's on. So we wanna make sure that account slash login is not in that path. So it's saying that they're not logged in and accounts login is also not in that path. So let's go ahead and refresh in here. And now we see it's not there, but if we go to register, it is still there, login is still there. But every time we go to login, it is not there. Cool, so that is actually exactly what we wanna see, right? We wanna see login on every page except for the login page, right? That should make sense. Okay, so if you have any questions on getting this form into your nav bar and actually having it work, um, let us know. And if you have any questions on authentication, of course, let us know. For the most part, it's fairly straightforward. Of course, we aren't doing a lot of the password checking. We're not doing a lot of those things. So that gets a little bit more advanced. Uh, and it is something to definitely consider checking out because then you'll have a little bit more control over what's happening here. Uh, but like what we've seen with the contact form or even the user email submit form, uh, what we did with the EDU stuff, um, that same thing can be applied to registration. It's just you'll need to customize registration to be slightly different, or at least customize how the form works to be slightly different than this. Um, that could still be used with J Django Registration Redux, but this page would have to change. It's not something we're going to go into, but it is something that I would like to challenge you to do on your own and see if you can actually pull it off because I think that you can, especially with what you know now. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.